Hi friends, it's Gloria from Golden Bucket Farm. I'm the Jersey Lady One here on YouTube. And today I have flip books. I had quite a few thank yous to um, send out to people and so I've been making flip books. The first one, let's see, we'll get that, there we go. The first one is for a friend who has dogs. And this is made from four envelopes, like this. Okay. They are the note cards that I get from Hobby Lobby. And I use the <laughs> note cards for other things besides uh, writing on them. Well, I do that too, but anyway. Um, so I have lots of envelopes. So this one has uses four, and it's a gate. Uh, it's a gatefold. Okay, the paper I used is Happy Tales from Bow Bunny, and sadly, I don't think they make it anymore. It was just the best paper, and it had ephemera for um, you could buy for cats. Or for dogs, and then they had other animals. You know, they had some horses and fish and birds in there too. But um, yeah, I just loved it, and have made several things from from the twelve by twelve collection that I had. But um, I guess it is no more. Anyway, this says um, four legged friends are the best, and it has some nice little three D stickers there. All right, there we are. And so these are the two gatefold panels in the middle. And this one has a pocket, and this one is kind of a corner pocket, I guess you'd say. All right, and then this one opens this way. I don't have this loaded with stuff yet. And... This one goes this way. And the thing I like about this, I'm going to fold it over to the back. It goes like this. That's the, this is the one gatefold, and then this is the back. The thing I like about these is that they can stand up. Ah, get this going this way, right? Okay, so they can stand up on a mantle or a credenza or a coffee table, whatever, and have pictures in them. So I hope that my doggy friend likes this one. And I'll send some goodies along. Right, and so this one, I guess I should say, this one is um, the two middle envelopes um, this one's flap goes this way and this one's flap goes that way so that holds that and then the flap of this one hooks on here and the flap of this one hooks on here so um and i don't have any extra pockets i didn't cut but you could um you know make it so that you have pockets at the top but I just did it this way. Okay, so that's number one, and it has a it has a bow closure, but we won't fool with that right now. Okay, the next one. Let's see. Maybe I should set it up like. Oh, that's good. Um, this next one comes. The paper comes from um, Hampton Art Studio G, and at a at kind of a super center thing that um, we have in the Midwest, Myers, M-E-I-J-E-R. They sell dollar items in their in their scrapping area. And um, let's see, I think I have one here. Let's see, where did I, okay, here's one. They come, the packs come like this. I have a bow for this, so I'll just set that aside. 
Um, this is the pack, how the packs come. There are 15 six by six sheets, and then the front, the front one, which is a little thicker, but they, the papers in this are, um, yeah, they're real nice. They're, they're, it's not just paper. It's more like a, like a thin card stock. And the colors are really bright and vibrant. And, and, um, I just buy them all the time to do, to do mini albums with. Okay. In the background, my husband has football on. So that's what that is. I hope that doesn't get in trouble with YouTube. Anyway, um, let's see the, uh, Dollar Tree now has wardrobes. Let me see if I can pull one out here. Has wardrobes of matching um, stickers and, and other goodies for uh, scrapbooking. And they, so far, I've seen they have um, four different colors and I've, I've repurchased them. So they're big. Big packs, two-sided. Okay, and so that's what um, I used here. This, it says um, the good stuff. So that was one of their stickers that I backed on cardstock. And then, um, see, we live out, I, have, I keep saying this, we're about 20 miles from, you know, where you'd have a Hobby Lobby or something like that. And Joann's, those are the two. Otherwise, it's a lot further to go to um, Target or um, Michael's, and they're not in a direction that we, you know, we don't go that way shopping. It's no more toward, oh uh, yeah, just a direction we don't go. So anyway, it's about ten miles to Dollar Tree, so I get a lot of stuff there. Um, this, these are their um, lace stamps and some bling. And this one is already loaded up with stuff that's going to go. Um, let's see here. There, the uh, journaling card is part of something I got from Lori Seabrook. Uh, thanks, Lori. I've been really using these things you sent. I think it was in a drawing, a giveaway that she had for her um, Hands of Friendship. Dealy, and that was quite a while ago, and I'm still used. I got lots to use. So anyway, this was um, We Are Memory Keepers, 18 double-sided cards, um, 4 by 6 And you'll see in my other... The colors were just great, very adaptable to different things. So anyway, that's one of those. And then this is this is one of the little... Um, it's, like, again, like a thin um, cardstock sticker that comes in those uh, Dollar Tree, I'm just going to call that wardrobe of, of scrapping ephemera sticker thingies. <laughs> okay, so then I just, I backed that on um, cream cardstock. So, and then I made some um, little tags of my own. These little flowers came also from Lori, and they are, they're really, um, Cute. This looks peach, but it's really pink. Um, and she makes so many lovely, so many lovely handmade flowers. And these are just the, her cutie little fill-in ones. And they're, they're um, I'm going to have to ask her exactly what paper that is. It has like a linen texture to it. So, and then she has some um, sequins, a little flowered sequins in the middle. And so they were just perfect for working in this book. And um, here's another one of those cards and some other tags that I made. And this, this is a set of little um, sticky notes that came from, oh gosh, I think it might have been in, um, <laughs> I'm not sure if that came from Katuri Burnett or if it was in, um, some goodies from one of the swaps I was in and uh, scrapped the world in one of her swaps. Okay, then um, these are little crystal flowers from 
Dollar Tree and some more from that same um, sticky set. And this one opens. Let's see if we can get this. Okay. This is the left side. And it says, um, I love the little things. And these are some little wooden clothespins. Actually, it's it looks purple and yellow, but it's pink and green. And this is my Martha Stewart eyelet punch, and I ran some really Easter Easter washi tape, but it really fit in with these flowers. And some more, uh, it's a set of stickers, lace stickers from Dollar Tree. And in this one, there's um. I made a coin coin envelope and there are playing cards, decorative playing cards, some in there. And in this little booklet there are um, three different kinds of washi tape. And again, this this uh, these cards are from Lori's pack from the your know, memory keepers, and this is part of that the big Dollar Tree stickers. Okay, and then on this side, um, <clears throat> okay, there's some more of that Easter washi tape, but it's just, it really doesn't show Easter. I think it fits with the color scheme real well. And uh, uh, this is part of the Dollar Tree stickers. And then in here, I, for a swap, uh, was teeny weeny, yeah, teeny tiny, sorry, teeny tiny embellishment swap um, for Scrap the World. Uh, one of the things I made was, was little envelopes, and they, you can see they have little note cards inside, okay? And these are, let's see here. Yeah, they're just, they're two inches wide. So uh, that was the size that we had to make for the, for the swap. We had to make things. So I put five as one of my, as one of my um, elements. I made five little envelopes and I made a bunch more while I was making them. So I put some in here. And then there are some more cards, um, journaling cards over here. And this is one of Lori's flowers again, and some washi tape, Dollar Tree washi tape that really went, this looks like brown and black or something, but really it's, boy, I can't just get that color to come well. That's really like red, orange, yellow, blue, green, you know, like that. So it really goes well with, with this tape in real life, so... Okay, and the little um, the little brass paper clips, those are from Dollar Tree too. And then on the back, have some more of the lace. And um, this little is a self-inking stamp. Two that came from Dollar Tree, handmade with love. So then I'll put my name and the date on there. Okay, so that's that one. And this one is made from the Beach House um, stack from um, Hobby Lobby's uh, Paper Studio. It's one of those big, one of those big pads, and it just has the loveliest. Um, beachy, but it, it it isn't cutesy beachy, you know. Anyway, you'll see. So these are some more of the um, clips from Dollar Tree. This is another one of the cards from the, We Are Memory Keepers, and I just put it on the side of the on the flap of this one. This flipbook is made also from four envelopes, but they're all lined up in a line and they they fold over you know more of a roll up okay so there's that 
And here's the front. Okay. And it opens this way. This one does not have um, goodies in it yet. And here's one of those little cards I think I showed earlier. One of those little cards that I made from the by recycling the washi tape packages from Dollar Tree. So, yeah, go in there now. Yeah. And then this one goes like this. So, I think this Dream Big, I think that may have come from Bad Hampton Arts um, Studio G. They have, they have some big um, wardrobes of journaling cards and stickers and frames and the last time I was in again those are all a dollar and boy what a bunch of nice stuff that you you get there on and they're not cheapy thin there were even some gold foil ones so cool okay this is oh you can see my fingers um this little banner is from one of those enjoy today okay. and these well Feather stickers are some of those lace stickers from Dollar Tree. Okay. And then opens like this. So there is um that paper that paper stack is kind of a combination of patterny papers. Um, plus some photographs, you know, they say have stones and shells and things like that. Um, okay. Alrighty. So that one just, well, again, this one will stand up for you. If you want to make a display of photos on someplace in your home, my recipient. And then this one just rolls up. And these three, these three clips are heavy enough to hold it down. All right, let's see. Um, this next one is getting, um, so I haven't put things in those two, but this, this person is getting doily punches of different sizes and some of these clips and some note cards. It has a pretty um, butterfly on and some more. Yeah, I really like these. Um, the lace stickers. And that goes with this book. Okay, and this is kind of a combination of this is one of the cards from the um, Studio G journaling packs. Okay, and the sticker is from the Dollar Tree scrapbooking pack. And these, this is one of their clips. Okay, let's get this. All right, and then this one is a gatefold again, and the inside I used uh, paper pads from Dollar Tree. They had six, and I, like a dummy, I didn't pick up the sixth one, and I only picked up five, so I had to, you know, make do with another, but I, it, it was a different kind of, um, of notepad that I used. And so I just backed them on card and just used them just like regular scrapbooking paper. So this, this is the bottom. The pad was much bigger. So I cut them off and I used my Martha Stewart punch and made some old journaling cards for that one. And over here, the same on this side. This one, I put the top on the bottom and the bottom on the top. Okay. And over here, this is another, oh, it says Sweet Life. And I made some little tags. 
and bless beyond measure and that's one of my big doily punches that I thought you could use that for um for a mat okay a tag and then this one opens this way and that looks like orange but that's really those are reds and pinks in the real color okay so this is a tuck spot and over here I have a little stack of doilies okay. and on the back it says I will look back at this and smile so um, yeah this is one where I I did not put the goodies really in the in the book and I saw a lady this morning I was watching and she said, um, my flip book is too full. I, I'll have to just, you know, mail the, the goodies along with it. And I thought, well, oh, that's what has happened to the flip books. They have evolved, you know. They, they, I guess they were first for, you know, including the goodies. And now, now the books are so embellished that the, the goodies won't fit. Okay, and this last one is, is different. This is made from four um, clasp envelopes. These again are from Dollar Tree. They're the Brown Craft, six by nine. Okay, and they come eight for a dollar. The brand is Jot. And um, I cut my envelopes to um, seven and three quarters and folded up the bottom, the closed bottom. Um, an inch and a quarter to make a six by six square for this book. The paper that I am using in this in this um, album is oh gosh, what is it called here? Let me pull it up here. Oh, I'm sorry to be yanking you around here. Sorry about that. This is called Natural Botanical, and I don't know. Again, I bought this quite a while ago. I bought it when it was 50% off. Um, this is uh, Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. And the papers, it's a really nice, thick, um, really nice, thick paper. 20 designs, three each. And... Um, I really enjoyed working with them, and I've used them on quite a few things. Just and it has a nice linen texture to it. It's just a really nice uh, premium weight and feel to it. This is one of the uh, journaling cards that I trimmed and rounded the corners on from um, that pack of We Are Memory Keepers, and just layered it with some other papers. And this was a border sheet that that I quartered and the top um, there are big pockets in the top of this one and so I put this together you could really use any tape I used um, this I have a lot of this I bought it for a big project and boy I have tons and tons left over more than, I think I have two more rolls and I'm, <laughs> I've hardly made a dent in the first roll. This is um, sticky uh, paper packing tape. I use that for my eBay business too. Oh my goodness. So my battery is going down. Okay, we will get it. Come up, come up, come up, come up. All right, we're going to have to do the best we can for the end of this one because my battery is starting to go down. Um. Anyway, this is one you have to, you know, put water on. So I just use a washcloth and do it from one side and then the other so I don't have both sides sticky. And this again is a gatefold. Has um, pockets this way on this side that I used from the leftover parts that I, that I cut off. Of course, I took the clasp off. And then... It opens this way. And so those are those fold up pockets from the bottom. And the other side. 
And those are some more of the cards. Boy, that was just a wonderful set of cards, Lori, that you sent. They really worked out good for me. And again, this is one that will stand up nicely. This one is not loaded. Oh, come on now. Don't be acting up. There we go. Um, yeah, it would stand up nice on your on your buffet or something like that to put some fall pictures in. So um, those are my five flip books, and, and um, I'm really having fun making these, and I'm thankful that I'm able to make these nice thank you gifts for some people who have been very kind to me. So sorry about this dimness at the end, but I better go get my battery charged up. Um, take care. God bless. Um, happy crafting, and we'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.